not a con. If you aren't helping put things away, please take a seat so we can run through our closing ceremonies. We have copious amounts of cash and prizes to give away still. Are they down here? They are down here. Well, cash for me, prices for you. Uh, can I have a little more volume? Or should I turn up the monitor here? Because my voice is, ah, oh, it's better, thank you. Um, all right, let, let's get over all the touchy-feely thank you stuff. Thank you all for coming to the second annual Nauticon. Uh, I appreciate everybody being here. I hope you had a good time. One of the things I want to remind everybody is if you have any criticism, constructive or otherwise, or comments, please, after Nauticon, uh, email them to me and you know, we will address them and, and, and look at them and, uh, and process them. My email address is froggy at notacon.org, F-R-O-G-G-Y at notacon.org. Um, huh? Yeah, it's on the website. <laughs> yeah. Um, we have a bunch of prizes to give away still because, as usual, our sponsors were overly generous, and there's probably a lot of Windows books still sitting around. Um, wanted to say a special thank you to people that were up last night with all of the uh, <clears throat> craziness that I didn't expect. So those that you know didn't really appreciate that, I'm sorry, because that was not the crowd either I or the organizer of that event had expected. So. Don't worry about it. I got it covered later. Um, so yeah, uh, that just wasn't expected at all. But my staff and all uh, the attendees that helped us uh, made made sure everybody got out of here safe. So that's all we can ask for. Uh, hotel was a little bit upset, I think, but we're still here. Nobody's mentioned anything to me yet. So. Hopefully we can come back here next year, which is I think what we're going to do since we didn't quite hit capacity. But uh, I think there's a lot more we can do. One of the things that really worked out well this year that we're going to do next year is keeping more tables with power. People seem to really think that you know think that's cool. While laptops only last two to four hours, so until we get fuel cells, let's uh, <laughs> yeah right. Uh, you know, we're, we're going to do more of that. So we're going to get more and more power outlets and more power strips so that you can sit in your talk, sit and hack on your laptop and have a good time. Um, I think what we did this year in terms of switching the rooms around worked real well. Yeah, yeah? OK, good. Uh, special thanks to Marcus. Even though the network wasn't perfect, it was up. And it works relatively, relatively well. Um, yeah, Marcus uh, actually met him. He joined uh, irc.froggynet.org, or irc.crew.edu. Uh, yeah, because, yeah. Um, so, yeah, he joined our IRC server, found out about us through LiveJournal or something. And, and, yeah, Marcus is, like, not one of my best friends. And last year, I didn't even really know him. So, that's cool. Props to Marcus. <laughs> he kept me sane. Um, special thanks, of course, to Stephanie, who was the registration woman, queen, wrote a point of sale system in the past two weeks that worked. God bless that. Learned PHP just so she could do it. And of course, to all the security staff and Mark for uh, providing all the really great prizes. I mean, the fact that, <laughs> that half of you can walk out here with more stuff than it cost you to get in here with still, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, what else? Uh, does anybody have any specific criticisms or comments they want to make? Anything, that, any experience they had that was positive about Nauticon in particular? The pizza party was great. The pizza party was great. Yeah, special thanks to Synac Labs for not only sponsoring Nauticon, <laughs> but for putting that really great pizza party on. Uh, after that keynote, I think just giving people an hour and a half to just kind of mill around and talk in the middle of the con about what they've experienced this far. And of course, having free food there was really a great idea. So really a lot of special thanks to Synec Labs. And I hope we can work with them again and help, you know, help promote a lot of their great projects and a lot of their really, really great work. 
um, you know, I, I can't thank them enough for all their help. Uh, they, yeah, they they helped out a lot. Yes, Echo. The, the Not Account Radio Project, yeah, a lot of special thanks to Jason Scott and his kick-ass Not Account Radio Project. That was just awesome. I mean, <laughs> I, I know Jody and I both enjoy just sitting in front of the mic when he got that thing up and running and just, just talking about what it was, you know, what our experiences with Not Account have been and at least helped me um, with, with my keynote really focus my thoughts and refocus my efforts into what was, you know, what is really important about this, because honestly, this is this has been a very, very rough weekend for me, um, a lot rougher than last year for a lot of reasons. Uh, but I'm still happy and I still want to do this again, even though I am about between six and eight thousand dollars again. Yay, Ted. MBNA and is going to love me. Uh, thankfully, I signed up for the World Points card. I think we're uh, I think we're up to getting a three hundred dollar gift card. So if you want those GDR mats, well, I was thinking we can get a Cobalt Flux for that. So you know, we'll we'll, 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 we'll work on that one. Um, any other comments? Uh, positive things that they felt about not account that they want to share? Which video? Oh, record the speeches. Yeah, AV guys. I mean, come on, you guys kick ass, Chris, Eric. Shmi, David Lop, uh, Todd Dietry, all these guys helped out in the clutch. Uh, Eric Pinzer, Eric, big tall guy back there. He's core next year, by the way, because he's hardcore. Hardcore AV, yeah, Eric Pinzer, our new course member, our, our newest core member. Welcome, Eric. It means he gets three t-shirts for sure next year. How about that? Uh, any other positive comments? Yeah, I, I mentioned them because they yeah, they put a lot of effort in at the last minute to help us make sure these talks were recorded. Uh, with big AV problems? We had one crash in one of the first talks and that is it. Yeah. We're, we're missing 15 minutes of footage from the entire 70 hours of time. 70 hours. Which will of course be for sale on DVD at a reasonable price and then will be released under Creative Commons share like so all of you can share it with your friends so we can throw it on archive.org so Jason Scott can mirror it for us, bit torrent it. We don't care what you do with it once it's out there. We want people to know that Nauticon happened and that not only that it happened, but that what happened here was really freaking cool. All right? Because it was. <laughs> Any other cool comments or cool things that they found or happened to them while they were here? Everyone behaved again from our side. And when it, to bring it back to community feel, um, when I was basically on my last nerve last night and, and hopped up on caffeine and, and, and adrenaline, um, I, was, I, was, I was not functioning. And the fact that the attendees and the staff were able to come to my aid to help me and, and stay up late when their shifts were over. Uh, Brian Inderhees, who I think, Brian, are you here? He's at the front desk working right now. He was here until 6 a.m. closing registration last night. Um, it's been hard for him because he was at a funeral on Friday, which is why he couldn't be here. But he came for a friend of ours, uh, and he was working registration for, I think, I don't know how many hours straight. So, you know, it's that kind of dedication to helping keep us sane that was really appreciated during uh, last night, which was really difficult, which I don't think we're going to be doing again. Honestly, you know how I talk, I talk a lot about... Uh, you know, if, if you want it done right, you have to do it yourself. Well, when I say doing it, uh, doing it myself, I mean doing it ourselves. So if we're going to do content, we're going to do our shit because we can do it better, we can do it cleaner, we can do it safer, we can do it with a better crowd because we don't need that that kind of vibe here, right? We we need it. We need a good vibe. <laughs> That's the not a con spirit. Any other positive things before we move on? Because we do have to get out here. Yes, Gina. You and Jody did not smoke this weekend. Yeah. This is the first con we've been to, and we've been going to cons since 2000 that we have not had a cigarette. So good for us. We are not going to do that anymore. We're going to get healthy. Next year, not a con. It'll be 180 pounds. I'm going to be built. I'm going to be like Matt, right? <laughs> I'm going to be like Matt, and I'm going to be like, hi, everybody, hugs and kisses. Because <laughs> I'm just a puppy dog like that. Um, I want to say some special, uh, special thanks to the, the kids from Ohio Wesleyan. 
I mean, they really made an effort to come out here and to find the money as college kids through their ACM chapter, ACM, go ACM, to get out here. And the fact that we had Drendar, who tap dancer and talent show, that's what, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. That was awesome. And the fact that we had more entrants the second night than we did the first, rock on, because we had tons of prizes to give away. All right, um, any other comments? What we want you to do is if you have any photos that you've taken over the weekend, put them up in the gallery, and we will link them from the Nauticon website. Likewise, if you have a write-up, we're going to have a section for all of your write-ups. Write-ups are important not only so we get feedback, uh, you know, in a, in a format that, whatever format you want to give that, but so that other people can, you know, can have your experiences. Since we all had unique experiences, it's important we share what they were. So, you know, uh, as you post them, email to me uh, or, or, or to tiger at and we'll, we'll post them on the website just as quickly as we can get them. Uh, I guarantee I'll be spending a lot of time on the couch in front of the PlayStation 2 rolling Katamari's around and, and farting like Don Raccoon and all kinds of good stuff. Um, while you work, yeah. As it should be. <laughs> but before I go on, I think Irish has a special contest that he would like to run. Likewise, if you have a scavenger hunt uh, entry, please find a Nauticon staff member who's willing to judge your entry and isn't actually participating in the contest. Did anybody find a CRX? Creativity is encouraged. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's not red, though. Yes, it is. It is? It didn't have red. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Irish, come up here. Let us, uh, I'm going to let you take the mic and uh, do your thing. Irish, everybody. Fresh for what? Okay, for those of you that didn't get the joke, because I was handing these out on Friday and a little bit on Saturday, and I, some of the just amazing faces you people made just fucking made me piss my pants laughing. <laughs> it's fucking great, especially Fornio. Uh, uh, twice. And he's like, ew, windows. <laughs> well, if you'd bothered to read the back, and it says three ways you can win at big at CES. Is this CES? Do we even know what CES is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> and both of them this year were fucking awesome, okay? I gotta tell ya. I was there the last day, and one of the kids they had running around gave me three books of these freaking stickers. I'm like, well, fuck, I'm gonna bring it, hand it out. So, if you've been spotted with one of these by me, you've gotten an invite to the Nauticon 702 party at the Wineberry Ranch during DEF CON. If you didn't bother to put one on, you suck. <laughs> Thank you, Irish. All right, uh, we have some additional prizes and things to give away, so I wanna know, well, <laughs> let's see, the, the Finn has left, so he's not eligible, but who here that is left came the farthest? Anybody here from, like, South America? No, didn't think so. We know I Irish is from Las Vegas. Who can top Las Vegas? <laughs> or even any other state other, uh, other than Ohio. Okay, who here was from Ohio? Who here was from Cleveland? Represent 2164. Check it. <laughs> Check it, y'all. Right. Uh, but okay, so I know Michigan. We have a lot of people here from Michigan. Michigan, there we go. All right. Minnesota. Anyway, 616. 616. Fuck the 616. Yeah. Uh, hey, here. All right. Well, yeah, okay. Don't fuck the 616. Uh, except, except if you're hot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey. yeah. Equal opportunity. Okay, so we have Michigan. We have Nevada. What else do we have? We have Connecticut. Maryland. D.C. Virginia. NYC, Maine. Massachusetts, Maine. Maine, Maine, wow, so Missouri, this is New York, I mean, this is crazy, then this is, 
Alabama, da 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 California, okay, California. Can anybody be California? No. <laughs> I want a p for no. Uh, Red Man, would you like a free prize? All right, come up here and help the man get a free, you want to, somebody want to help him swag it out. Congratulations to Red Man, who actually, you know, I'm really glad he's here. And one good thing about the Midnight Mixer, he was a a former ACID member that he had never met in person before that was on the stage last night in the Midnight Mixer. And to hear this guy go, Chris is here? And then the door, you know, running around to meet, to meet Radman, you know, that was one of the coolest things of, of the Midnight Mixer. So, you know, that's what it's about. Um, okay, what other kind of lame old contests can we run off the, off the cuff here? Suggestions? <laughs> yeah. Well, well, <laughs> yeah. Who here drove the longest? Okay. Uh, I want. I want hours. Hours. Well, twenty-six hours from from New York City, right? And how much transmission fluid do you have left? Not much. Well, I, I hope you're able to head up a Meyer or like a Walmart on the way back and get them like in a 55-gallon jugs and... <laughs> well, fuck Walmart. So support your local transmission food 55-gallon drum seller. <laughs> so, do you guys want to come here and, and get some prizes for NYC? Okay, I don't think so. Because you're, you're, you're all too lead for prizes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's true, the car was full. <laughs> Any more shit, that thing's just going to be leaking through it even more. You have to drag drag people and have them push at like 55. Keep up, god damn it! <laughs> NYC is like 20% of the con participants by volume. Yeah. So. NYC, I appreciate NYC coming on out. You know, have to show the love. W okay, what do we have left? Oh yeah, who's, who's, who's the oldest one here that wants to admit it? I'm 28. Yeah, anybody can be 28. Oh come on. How old? 35. 35. I'm catching up. Uh, can anybody be 35? 40. Can anybody be 40? I'm here 40. Here we have. 45. Would you like a prize, sir? No, thanks. Does anybody want a prize? Raise your hand. What do we have? We have a copy of Seuss Lewis from last year. <laughs> like that. We have the Seuss uh, Works Graphical Book Series. <laughs> we have a book. We have an MI, uh, MI2600 cell phone thing. <laughs> VB done at Windows 2003, some old Sibaris uh, CD binders, a uh, shell account from outlands.net, canning spam, real good one, guys, ASP.net, Visual Basic. Basically, uh, anybody here like Windows and want free shit, come up here. I don't like it, but I use it. If you sell it back, I know nothing about it. I'm a corporate and I God bless oh. you. Take two books. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like the CRX you would pimp out if you actually had more money to pimp out your CRX? <laughs> oh, it's an SI, sorry. <laughs> it's all nicer to me. Of course, I can't give any crap because I drive a Pontiac Aztec, so. Yeah, anybody else spot any feds this weekend? There are a couple. No. Anybody else have, uh, want any of these Windows books? Do we have any other prizes other than this? Packet for sure. Shirt. All right, actually, do we have any people that have judged any of the uh, scavenger hunt contests yet? No, who's going to do it? I need somebody to judge sca scavenger hunt real quick. We need somebody to judge. Okay, I'm just one judge. Cool. 
Yeah. He is the youngest. Yeah, do we have any scavenger hunt entries? Come up now. Quick, quick, quick. Yes, we want to give a special thanks to our, our, our newest core member from last year, Mr. Mr. Irkdub, IRK Dub. Now, he's not even 18 years old yet. But, but, <laughs> but he has been invaluable to helping us this year. He brought all the bakery, three bags of it to the con suite, and then brought some more down here for you today. So, yeah, I really, I really appreciate him for doing that. Do we have any suggestions for next year? Anybody have any specific suggestions for things we could do better next year? Fewer Microsoft books. I hear you on that one. Any other suggestions? I got a, I got a suggestion for whoa, 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 one at a time. A bar in here? I'll look into it. Low power FM station. I got an idea for a game. Who can uh, have a, the coolest picture of someone wearing a Nauticon t shirt and have like, the coolest. Oh, that could be cool. If we have the, uh, uh, a contest where we have the weirdest or most unusual or coolest place of somebody wearing a Nauticon t shirt, that could be interesting. Who wants jump rippers? I, I can't hear you. Girls on, well, if we had girls on trampolines in here, we'd have more ceiling tiles popped out. <laughs> that wouldn't be cool, would it? I don't think so. What's up? Give them <laughs> so now I have to kill time until we judge this because... Yeah, I, I know. I'm not rushing you. I'm just saying... Everybody is going to win at this point. <laughs> they are judging the scavenger hunt. Okay, well, let's go over judging this. What do we have? Whose team are we working on here? Everybody clear, clear the stage. If you're not part of the scavenger hunt, sit down or move away. Let, let's go over some of these items. What, what, what do we have on list? Hold on, no, for each team. So we have, okay, you have the picture on the top of the terminal tower, the soldiers and sailors. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, uh, World War II submarine. World War II submarine, which was right downtown, or right actually 2.2 .2 miles away. Contraception museum in Cleveland. There is a contraception museum in Cleveland. Did you know that? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, it's a case. Goodness. I have I'll have to check that out. Yeah. This hat has been accompanying me at AV for days. Can someone please claim this fucking thing, please? Whose hat, who's, who's hat is that? Body Worlds, okay. Other team. Keep it. Okay. One. What is your total according to you? 
Pretty close to 375. Okay. Give me a sample. Tell me what you got. Antenna has lost its wire. It's Public advice. This idea is wiped by city. Name the tallest building. Mark. I have a WAP antenna here that I think may be yours. All right. Something uh, cool, extremely good. Sufali, what did you Sorry. Last year's knock on keynote speakers on there. Hot chick in a bikini. Yep. Yep. I hit it. You'd have to wait a couple years for Ooh. Maybe not. Yeah. Irish developed photos for the scavenger hunt. That is impressive. And by the way, try to get up there because it's closed for security reasons. Well, it is now. Yeah, if it wasn't closed before, they sure as hell are going to keep it closed now. Software written for either DOS or OS 2. Okay, so I'm going to point out the fun stuff from this. What the fun stuff? I agree. Here, do you want the microphone, Amish? Yes. Sure. Yeah, everybody sit down. And let's see, where's. Uh... Okay. One at a time. Oh, we got Drew Curtis's beer and pictures with it and bought like my mucho for him. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Okay, so we have two entries to the scavenger hunt. And I'm going through this and looking at the pile of stuff. I had not looked at the scavenger hunt prior to five minutes ago, so it's all my fault for not being prepared. Actually, it's our fault because we didn't tell you to be prepared. Yes, I volunteer for this pain and suffering. <laughs> okay, fun stuff that I saw in these stacks of... Yeah. By the way, you should look at the license plate. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Evil One. Okay, there is a license plate somewhere in the vicinity that says Evil One. It's good for a photo somewhere. Okay, so there were photos from top of some tower that I've never heard of. Tower City downtown. Tower City downtown. We ended up with a picture of the top of Tower City. <laughs> that, that, that was pretty good. I like that. But what I liked more was uh, Gina's group who came up with a webcam on the top of Tower City <laughs> staring at Falcons. <laughs> Okay, okay, and they figured out how to use maps.google.com. <laughs> um, we have wonderfully archaic hardware here. <laughs> the VisiCalc, that's for pure amusement's sake. It has nothing to do with the contest because it does not run on DOS or OS2. It runs on an... Yes, this does not count. On the other hand, that does. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> license plates. Everybody came up with a good license plate. Okay. Every both teams here came up with at least one core member's call sign. I need to talk into the mic more apparently. We will try this again. Okay. This team got two of the call signs. This team got one. They did not get all of them. <laughs> Given that bloody near half of core staff is hams, but um, yeah, well, the core staff wanted ex extortionate prices for any of their services. <laughs> I don't even know what half the stuff frog you wanted me to do is. <laughs> 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 
you know, of all people to heckle me, I feel that you are the best qualified. <laughs> Does anybody know the sound that a, a, a steam steamboat makes? <laughs> splash, 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 splash. Wait a minute, I thought I thought that was the name of the baseball team. Yeah, right. Steamers. Uh, okay, so we're going to wrap this up in a hurry. All teams that entered, even the one who asked to be removed from the list because they packed all their entries away already. Oops, tactical error. <laughs> Everybody's going to get some prize, but I'm going to have to declare Gina et al., whose group I cannot remember the winner, simply for the CRX. <laughs> and they had more points, but that was a detail. It's the CRX. <laughs> Yeah, ow. <laughs> awesome stuff. Where, what boat anchor did you steal? <laughs> I'll never tell. You'll never tell? We will never know. Remember? <laughs> My only concern is, whatever boat, boat you stole that off of as its anchor, put it back before it floats away. <laughs> Um, I'm going to declare this the end of the scavenger hunt. If Froggy is around somewhere and has more to say, he should stand up and do so. Froggy, do you have anything more to say? Froggy. He's moving in the general direction of the stage. <laughs> I've just heard the voices in my head inform me that we need a Froggy. I'm going to keep it short because we've got to clean up to get home, and I really, really need to get to bed. But thank you all for coming, and if you can do anything to help us out, it's to tell a friend that didn't come this year to come next year. Because if each one of you tells somebody and gets somebody else to come, we will have double attendance. Anything but Ethernet, that kicked ass. So thank you all for coming. Please have a very, very, very safe drive home or flight home or walk home or what have you. Thanks again.